Hey, this is Mike. I'm down here at Judd Coon Chevrolet in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm checking out this 2015 Chevy Impala uh, 2LZ. And it's kind of like a uh, cashmere type color, I guess you can say. And uh, this one has the upgraded uh, 20 inch aluminum wheels. Which are very sharp. Now this is just a very exceptional vehicle as far as like the luxury, you know, comf being comfortable and having some luxury um, options. Uh, speaking of luxury options, this one has the adaptive cruise control. It has the projector headlights, LED accents, and um, very impressive looking car. It's not too flashy. It's not too uh, cheesy looking, as you can see all the other other vehicles here. Uh, the Impalas are, you know, they have uh, fairly uh, like earth tone colors and not too flashy. But anyways, moving on. It's um, these are the 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 tires. These are the upgraded tires. They're a little bit more uh, money for these tires and wheel options, but um, they look really sharp. This one needs a bath, but uh, this time of year with the wind and everything and the off, on and off rain, it's kind of hard to keep them perfectly clean. But um, this one has the, um, it's kind of like a brown interior. And let's see here. Here's the window sticker. Just kind of interior. Just kind of show you some of the options. Feel free to use the pause button. Also, I'm going to copy and paste all this stuff in the description, and um, and then that way you can have all this information. But I'm looking for the name of the interior color, and it's probably right in front of me, and I can't find it. Oh, it's right up here. Interior it says jet black, champagne silver on the outside, but uh, it kind of looks like a brown to me. So I'm not sure if that's uh, maybe different or whatever but it's kind of like a real dark chocolate type brown I guess and and some stitching everything is pretty much soft to the touch except for that and uh, it does have the premium Bose sound system you got some pockets there in the door really good styling in this car real high quality looking leather seats with stitching perforations here and here this one has the heavy-duty uh, slush mats there's your glove compartment. It's a uh, hard plastic, no padding on the inside of that. Interior looks pretty nice. This definitely does not look black though. I guess the carpet looks black, but the, the leather and the dash and all that stuff. Hopefully you can tell in this, this shot here where the sun's shining on it, it's kind of like a brown color. Here's the inside of the back door. Here's the back seats, plenty of leg room, plenty of comfort back here, and um, you do have an AC adapter back here, a little pocket, a little tiny pocket there, some vents. This folds down and you have a um, armrest as well as some cup holders. These seats do fold down in case you need some more uh, storage space in the trunk or something that you're picking up at at the hardware store and it just won't quite fit in the back. There's your fuel cap. It is a flex fuel vehicle. There's the Impala design. Now, like I said, it's dirty, so. You got your speakers there in the back glass. Here's the back. This one has the V6, 3.6 liter V6. It has the dual exhaust in the back with the bright tips. You also have uh, backup sensors, the parking sensors back here and a, uh, the backup camera. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the trunk with the key. Alright, so wow, look at the size of that trunk. It's way up in there. 
amazing and it has the impala slush mat back here or what you would call as a cargo mat and I'm pretty sure this is added by the dealer I don't know if out of doubt that comes with that but I would definitely recommend it and let's see what's under here a little storage area cargo net I'm sure that probably comes with it there's a closer look at your backup camera this one has a panoramic sunroof I really like those kind of helps out with the back the people in the back kind of helps with their claustrophobia a little bit they kind of see some sky but um same thing on this side very nice um, the, the leather and then the trim there and the stitching it's kind of like a dark brown with a light brown accent really looks good and then you got these bolsters here that are kind of keep you snug in the vehicle and also maybe while you're getting in you know kind of makes it more comfortable decent amount of headroom too getting in it does have like a proximity key so you can push this button to lock or unlock the vehicle and uh, it does have a little indicator here for I don't know if you can see that for a uh, blind spot detection system so it can kind of if there's somebody's in your blind spot and you put your turn signal on it's gonna let you know that somebody's there and um, this is probably gonna light up even if you don't put your turn signal on just to kind of let you know all right so here's the inside of the driver's door you have the, the Bose premium Bose badge right there and some some pockets there at the bottom your window controls side mirror controls and all that good stuff door lock you do have some presets here for your seat the power seat with lumbar support here's your electronic parking brake this is your dimmer switch um, you can open up the trunk here and get a better view there parking sensors you can turn those off it does have a lane departure warning system you can turn that off if you wanted to you got a pocket right here put some change for tolls or whatever now this this steering wheel you can adjust it with a power switch here in and out up and down it is a telescoping and tilt powered steering column all right so hopping in very comfortable seats very impressed with the seats and uh, I can sit in this seat all day which if on a long trip you would be sitting in a long day all day long so putting my foot on the brake kind of activated some some sequences there on the screens but then they went out so I'm gonna go ahead and start it up with my foot on the brake I push the button so everything turns on there's your your gauge display there there's your navigation screen Com computer screen navigation screen whatever you want this to call vehicle it is in demonstration mode connected by OnStar's high-speed 4g connection press the blue OnStar button to learn more maybe later all right so here's your steering wheel it is a leather wrap steering wheel it does have a little bolsters here to make it more comfortable when driving and it kind of smooth it is a um, has some good thickness to it comfortable looks pretty neat too you got the Chevrolet badge there so looking at the gauges just to mention before I move on on the back of the steering wheel here is a volume button I'm going to turn the volume down and I can change you the station with the buttons on the back of the steering wheel on this side all right so back to the gauges so right here um, you have a like kind of like a little menu system and you can just, it's controlled with these buttons here so I'm going to just kind of scroll through and see what we got going on here right now it's in the radio so let me get out of that let me go back to let me go back to 80s okay let me go back out of that all right so I was in audio let me go up to the info screen I went up too far let me go into info screen all right so now I can scroll down scroll down and see trip a uh, fuel range oil life 
tire pressure, all that cool stuff. Average speed, coolant temperature, then it scrolls back to the speed. Now let me get back out of that. So you can see there's different settings, uh, your navigation. Um, you can go into navigation and it'll kind of give you some uh, guidance here on the screen as well as the little screen as well as the big screen while you're driving. So I'm going to go back out of that. And I'm going to go back to the info and then put it back to the speedometer. There's your turn signals, your lights, your windshield wipers, and these buttons here is, is what I was using to go through that. Now you can, uh, this does have Bluetooth, so you can, you know, pair your phone and talk to people, and it does have some voice recognition commands that you would, um, that you can use. It does have a heated steering wheel. Now the cruise control is right here, and it does have adaptive cruise control, so you can set the gap between vehicles right there with that button. And um, so you're cruising along and you don't want to be too close to somebody, but you don't want to be too far away. So you can set the gap. Um, and if they start slowing down, this vehicle will sense that and slow down as well to match their speed. So here we are. Here's the, um, the big, you know, the big touch screen here. Right now it's a navigation. It has a little picture of a car there. And um, I'm going to go back out of that. And you can see this is your, um, basically your home screen. So if you push home. It goes to that screen and um, you can adjust the audio you can uh, pair a phone and have different information on your phone and just to show you it's nothing's paired right now but this is where you'll find your contacts recent calls your keypad and all that good stuff so I'm gonna hit the back button and uh, audio this is where you'll see your whatever your radio is doing and you can adjust your audio and all that good stuff go back out of that navigation that's where we're to begin with this is where you can uh, set a destination, you can view the map, um, there's different menu options there. Um, settings, you can go into settings and adjust all kinds of cool stuff. Go back out of that. Pandora, that's a, that's a, uh, this uses your cell phone to play music uh, through a wireless system. I think it may, um, it may use its own internet connection. I'm not really sure. Maybe you can tell me because I don't really know. Weather. This takes a minute to load up, but it shows you a uh, your weather map and your little vehicle there, and um, it also has a you know your current uh, temperatures and all that stuff. You also have a, a 36 hour forecast. You can have a daily forecast, and and um, and then that way you can kind of see what's going to happen. And really cool graphics there on the on the days, you know, like that day looks really bad. All the thunderstorms and lightning, and hopefully it won't really look like that in real life. But uh, that's what that's what little graphics look like. It's pretty neat. All right, so um, so let's go back out of that. I hit the home button. Okay, so you're on star and all that good stuff. You can you can, and also texting. I'm not really sure how to text with this vehicle. But apparently you can do some voice texting, so that's pretty neat. Keep you uh, keep you safe, so you don't have to answer your phone or whatever. All right, so you got a CD player here, and your climate control. You have dual climate control. You can set the temperature like so, and um, set the temperature on that side. You can also sync them if you want. And this is where you want the air to blow and the fan speed and all that good stuff. Down here, this is a little pocket. And uh, this opens up and reveals a power supply. This closes down for fanciness, fancy wood grain. Cup holders are there. You do have a backup uh, camera. I'm going to go to put it in reverse so you can see the backup camera. And it also alerts me that there's some car back there so or something back there. So it's telling me there, but also on the screen here, it's telling me which side. So I got something back there to my, um, to my right. If I back up and I cut the wheel, it's going to hit something. I don't see it on the backup camera. But it's telling me that it's there. So let's actually look and see what's back there. Looking in the side mirror there, it looks like there's a telephone pole back there. So it's sensing that. So that's pretty neat. So put it back in park. And also has a plus and minus. You can change to the gears if you want to change to the gears. This has hit, uh, ventilated seats as well as heated seats. There's the controls for the driver and passenger side. Uh, and the center button there is to turning off your traction control if you want to turn it off for whatever reason. You have like a little storage pocket here. Now this lifts up. 
revealing a um, storage container. It has a little tray here so you can put some change in there and dump it out. But also you can put stuff down in there and, and um, you know, out of the way. You also, in there, you have a USB, SD card, and auxiliary inputs for um, playing music through the sound system. You also have a power supply. Now up here, this is an auto dim rear view mirror. You also have auto dim headlights. So not only if somebody's behind you with their high beams, this mirror is going to dim, so it doesn't blind you. And uh, the opposite, if you're driving and a, and a car is coming directly at you, it'll auto dim your headlights to keep from blinding those people. Up here, you've got an OnStar button, voice recognition, SOS for emergencies. Um, you've got some tap lights up here. They look like LEDs, and uh, you can turn, um, not sure what, oh yeah, this is for the interior lights. If you want to have the interior lights on, uh, or when they're open the door, or just completely off even if you open up the door. Garage door controls are right here. Now this has a massive panoramic sunroof, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the shade so you can see the size of this thing. Hopefully you can see it because there's kind of a, the sun's kind of shining directly on the camera. But uh, you can also, you know, you can open it up and close it. You can also vent it and uh, all that good stuff. But um, it's pretty neat. All right, so um, let me turn the engine off. And let's take a look under the hood. I like the way they have the, the Impala little badge there on the threshold. It's a nice touch. Alright, so let's see if I can do this one handedly. There we go. V6, 3.6 liter V6 uh, VVT system. It is a um, covered completely in plastic, so I can't really show you anything. If you squeeze your eyeballs through the between the plastic you can see some metal but there is an engine in there I promise you but the VVT system basically um, it adjusts the, the it stands for variable valve timing it adjusts the the, the valve timing um, on the fly to give you the best gas mileage when you need gas mileage and when you need horsepower and power it'll adjust for that as well Alright, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and my name is Mike, and I'll uh, see you next time.